from the West Ashley bike lane to 526 to his run for the South Carolina State Senate, Charleston County Councilman Jill Carley talks to me one-on-one -on -one for this edition of Quentin's Post Ups. Yo, it's so good to see you. Thanks for coming to visit Quentin. Anytime here, yeah, it's great. Yes, sir. You know, I want to take you back to something that happened in the post score yesterday. They say the following quote, West Ashley Bridge bike lane fails the test. It says this quote, that bike lane on the T. Allen Lee Greer Bridge has gotten a reprieve. Charleston City Council won't scuttle this traffic experience next week. They'll probably wait until the end of the month, but it looks like they're going to kill it. Question, do you think that the bike lane actually failed? I think that the impact that it had on traffic, not from the, from the bridge itself, but the ancillary coming up to the bridge, that, that it was a very, very negative impact. So mm -hmm. I would say that this lane closure failed in its in, as a total measure, yes. 526, State Representative Chip Lionel says a toll road to fund the expansion of 526 will be ideal. You say? <laughs> I say there's a lot of work to be done in order to even get the toll road on a referendum. Okay. And then the funding, the, the rest of the funding. But ultimately, the problem that we have right now is with the SIB. Yeah. This has been in the SIB's hands for almost four and a half years. Be right, and yeah. because of the change of, of, of kind of political power up there, um, it's shifted away from Charleston over to Florence County. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, everyone is saying that instead of really a toll rule, they should have a flyover. Well, the actual 526 is, is a... Is I guess a modified flyover. Okay. I mean, it's a bridge. Yeah. So um, the flyover we have planned right now is a main road in in uh, 17, right. which is a complete disaster. You know, people people trying to get off the island are stuck. People trying to get get on the island. I'm talking about John's Island. Right. Also trying to get to Kilo on Seabrook. Right. You know, we are a product of, of of rampant development without any any foresight in terms of of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody knows and I mean I've been saying it for years. I've been fighting this battle for years on yes. James Island right. and I've been fighting it for John's Island. Right. And I've been telling people we got two lane roads over there and next thing you turn around there's another three hundred unit apartment complex. Why or how it continues to happen is 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 anybody's guess but it's it's a complete total mess, mm -hmm. and in the gathering place with you know, right. unlimited density, a right. thousand units, right. you know, that's coming online. There's 300 units coming online at Folly and Albemarle, right. and so those units will also contribute will also contribute to the car traffic going over the bridge. Um, so if you think it's back it's backed up now, right. wait till you see that. Yeah, wow. Even where it goes, you actually have support from Charleston City Council to complete the funding of 526, Jill. Well, yeah, and that's fine. That's fine. And Charleston City Council can right. can support it, and Charleston County Council can sure. support it. But ultimately, it's it, the funding is is not in the hands of the city nor the county. Right. Yeah, you're right. And that when I talked with uh, Colleen Condon, I guess three weeks ago, she basically said that I five twenty six dead. Is it dead or alive with you? I think that it's on life support. Yeah. I think that people are struggling to to try to find a way to fund it. Um, I think that that Charleston County and, and the DOT had a deal with the CIB and that the CIB is not is not living up to the end of the bargain. Mm. Something that's on your mind right now is uh, State Senate District 41. State Senate 41, I'm running for it. Yeah, yeah I'm in it. You, Culver Kid, who else? Uh, Roy May, Bang, Sandy, Sandy Sin, Sin, and Tim and Mallard. Tim Mallard. Yeah, there are yeah. five of us. Why, Joe? Why now? Well... I think that that I've got the, the unique experience. Okay. I mean, I'm the only guy who's been in the trenches for 15 years. Right. I'm the only guy who's been going to city council, county council, town of James Island, right. planning commission meetings, uh, council meetings for years, and I've been standing up for the community for 15 years. Wow. And I've been talking about the, the roads right. and the density for that long. I've been on county council for five and a half years. I've got experience. I can navigate through some very tough issues. I'm, I'm, I'm very keen on um, constituent service. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that, that 
my skill set is perfect for this position, and I'm ready, willing, and able to, to, to jump in with both feet. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks. Well, Joe Corley, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate this. Pleasure to see you. Thank you. And vote Okay. <laughs>